Hey, welcome to the future of AI. Today, I've brought an amazing most demanded video for you. In this video, I am going to tell you about an amazing image generator tool, it's called Supermachine Art. This tool helps you generate awesome AI images with 55 plus models and do you know what's the best part about it? It helps you generate consistent characters in just one click. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you a step-by-step -step procedure on how to use this website and you can generate consistent characters. And wait wait wait! I also have a surprise for you here. I have a link for you and using this link you can purchase this website for lifetime and you will get access to this website for the rest of your life. You just have to buy it in $99 and you will never have to pay again. This offer is just for my subscribers and it's not available anywhere else. You will get 1000 credits every month for the rest of your life and this is simply amazing. If you want to avail this $99 deal, just click on the link provided in the description of this video. After clicking on the link, it will take you to the $99 deal page, where you have to enter your email and username. After that, just click on claim your special invite option. Then you just have to enter your payment details and Yay! You have got your lifetime deal for this website. Now let me tell you step-by-step -step procedure on how to use this website and how to create consistent characters. So first of all you have to go to this website called Super Machine, I will mention the link in the description. You simply have to sign up with your Google account. After signing up, it will take you to this dashboard. This website has around 55 plus models through which you can generate awesome AI images. You can see there is a huge library of models that you can use in generating your images and this is simply amazing. So they have categorized the models as well. I will click on this XDXL model because these are my favorite ones. So I will use this XDXL model. I will click on generate image to start generating images. Now to start generating images with this model, you will have to write a prompt first. So here I will write my prompt. I want a mythical creature that has never been seen before. That has some combining features of a dragon and a deep sea fish. So I will write these details and to improve the prompt, I will click on magic prompt. After clicking on that, you can see that it will improve my prompt and add some more details in the prompt to improve the quality of the image. So this will ensure better results. So as you can see, there is also an option of style assistance. It will help you choose the style of your image. For example, you want a drawing style image, you want a colorful image, a close up image. So I will select this camera option and you can see it has shown me some more options. So I will click on this cinematic because I want a cinematic image and you can see it has added the word cinematic in the prompt. So in this way you can use these shortcuts in your prompts. Now if you click on additional settings you will see some more settings that you can set for your image. You can add negative prompts for example you don't want blurry images, you don't want mutated images, you don't want unpleasant or animated or bad quality images so in this way you can add some negative prompts to avoid the images that you don't want then you can also set the image ratio i will set the image ratio to 16 by 9 ratio after that you can also set the number of image outputs you want i will select four it will cost you 6.4 credits then you can also create a new album and save your image generations to that album once everything is done click on generate to generate your images So here is the result of the images and just wow, these are the same kind of images I wanted and they look so good. Like just check out the quality of the images. You can also download it, clone it, edit it in canvas or even upscale it. So I will upscale this image. There is also an option of face enhance. You can also enhance the face while upscaling. Upscaling the image will increase the size up to 4x. So I will just upscale the image because there is no face that I want to enhance. Click on confirm upscale. Now I will show you the upscale image. So this is the image and just check out the quality and the result of the image. It looks really good. Just look at the quality. So if you check the remaining three images, they are also really good and the quality is A1 like I'm simply in love. Now let's generate another image with the same model. So I will remove this prompt and write another prompt that I want a cozy and a magical library hidden in a forest. I will click on magic prompt to improve my prompt. 
the more good the prompt is the more good will be the results of the image then in the same way i will add the negative prompts you can also adjust the prompt guidance to either increase or decrease the alignment with the prompt increasing it makes the result closely match the prompt while decreasing it makes them less closely aligned it is so important to strike a balance so i will set the prompt guidance to 7 for a balanced generation between images then i will set the image ratio to 16 by 9 and number of images for after done click on generate so I generated this prompt two times so I have eight images generated and they look really good. I wanted a magical library hidden in a forest and you can see the result matches with the prompt and all of the images look really good. So I will just simply download the image. Now I will change the model to Super Machine Abstract Excel and now I will generate images with this model. So I will remove the previous prompt and write another prompt. So now I want an AI robot floating in the space surrounded by twinkling stars and galaxies. So I will write my prompt properly, then I will add the additional settings. I will keep the negative prompts and then I will set the image ratio to 3 by 4 and number of images to 4. Then I will click on generate. So here is the result of my prompt and I must say it's exactly what I was looking for. The quality is simply astonishing, truly impressive. I must say this website generates truly impressive images. So now let's try another model. I will select this table diffusion 1.4. I will remove the previous prompt and write another prompt. So now I want an AI robot killing a soldier in a war. So here is the result and look at the images. They look really really good. Like just look at the quality of the images and they matches exactly with the prompt that I wrote. So I'm simply in love with the results. So there are a variety of 55 plus models that you can use while generating your images. And the good thing is that this website introduces new models every week. So you can try these other models as well. So now I will tell you how you can create consistent characters. So click on your profile icon. There you will see an option of consistent characters. Simply click on that. Now here you can generate awesome AI images with consistent characters. Now if you scroll down you will see some pre-made models that you can use in generating your consistent characters. The face of these models will be used in generating consistent characters so you can choose your model according to the face you want in your characters. So I will choose this one. I will simply click on the model. Then just simply click on this icon. Now here you will see the description of this model and it will tell you how you can use this model in your consistent characters. So as you can see it's saying that to make images with this model I have to write a photo of C4RL4 in my prompts. So I will simply copy these words then click on generate with this character. Then I am selecting this super machine reality because it will generate realistic images. So then in the prompt section, first of all, I will paste those words that I copied from the description. After pasting, I will put a comma and then I will write my prompt that I want a close up upper body shot of the girl wearing red dress, red lipstick, red pendant, sunflowers in the background. So I will write the prompt properly, then I will set the image ratio and then click on generate. So here is the result and these images are simply breathtaking. I must say these are just wonderful. So you can see this is the same face of the model that we used in the prompt that we selected previously. So you can see the quality of the images and it matches with the prompt. I wrote that I want a red dress, red lipstick, sunflower background. So it has generated the same images. So I will use the same model in the prompt. I will just change a little bit description in the prompt so that I can create other scenes with the same model as well. So in this image, I want the model standing in a restaurant wearing black evening maxi, pink lipstick, silver necklace. So I will write all the details properly in the prompt so it can generate good quality images. I will also write the details of the hair that I want long light brown colored hairstyle so uh, after writing all the details i will generate my images here is the result and you can see the images look really good and the face of the model is exactly the same just the scene has changed clothes are changed according to my prompt face is exactly the same so in this way you can create consistent characters with same face 
you can change the background you can change the clothes of the model you can change the scene according to you so in this way you can create amazing consistent characters that you can use in your storybooks or your videos or whatever you want so i will generate another image in which the model is sitting on a couch in a luxurious living room drinking coffee so here is the result and again it looks really good really cool face of the model is same just the scene is changed according to my prompt so you can play with the prompts and generate your images according to whatever you want so now i'm trying one last image with this model now i want the model standing in front of a beach so i will write my prompt properly and let's generate so here is the result and you can see again the images are really good with the same face of the model so in this way consistent characters can be created to be honest i'm simply in love with this feature of this website now you can also edit your images in canvas just select the image and click on this brush icon after that your image will be placed in your canvas then i will click on the select option and i will select the part of the image that i want to change so i will select all this upper area because i want to change it into clouds and a sunny day so after selecting the area i will write in the prompt that change the background and change it into a sunny day with beautiful clouds after writing the prompt properly i will click on generate so here is the result and you can see it has beautifully changed the background it has changed the background into the clouds and a sunny day as i wanted if you don't like the result you can always regenerate the images so that's all now if we see its pricing plan the monthly plan starts from 10 dollar to 35 dollars but you have to pay every month and if you see their annual plan it starts from $100 to $350 and you will have to pay every year you won't find the $99 deal displayed here you can only get the $99 deal through the link in the description box it's a fantastic offer because it's a one time payment no monthly or yearly fees you'll receive 1000 free credits every month and they introduce new models weekly this deal is just for a limited time so i would recommend you to buy it quickly because this is just amazing so that's all. Please do like and subscribe to support me so I can make more future AI videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.